Hi, good evening, everyone. Let's take another question for CVD entrance exam. A monopoly produces a chip at marginal cost of six per unit. It faces demand elasticity of minus two. What price should it charge to optimize its profit? It's a very simple question where you're supposed to go ahead and apply the MRMC condition. So equilibrium states that MR should be equal to MC. And <clears throat> we know from the learner's index that, so, so just think about this, okay? I'll take a minute to derive this. The TR is price into quantity. And MR is how TR changes as quantity changes, right? So if I were to differentiate TR with respect to Q, what will I get? I have to use product rule here. There are two things, P and Q, and I need to use product rule. So how P changes as Q changes? Into Q plus P as it is, and how Q changes as Q changes, right? So what will I get? How P changes as Q changes into Q plus P. This is MR. What you can do is you can take P common. <clears throat> so you will get how P changes as Q changes into Q by P plus 1. And if you notice this part, this is the inverse of elasticity, right? So I will get this as P 1 plus 1 by E. Okay, so you have got the value of your MR. That MR can be rewritten as this. Now, my equilibrium says that this MR should be equal to MC. MC is 6. So, P 1 plus 1 by minus 2.5 should be equal to 6, right? So I will get 1 plus, so, so you can just solve this actually from here. So let's say P minus 2.5 plus 1 upon minus 2.5 will be 6. So you will get P as 6 into minus 2.5 upon minus 1.5 and this is going to be 10. So if the monopolist wants to go ahead and wants to maximize its profit, it must go ahead and charge a price of 10. So can you tell me, so this is solved, right? So the price should be 10. So can you tell me that what should be the markup of the monopolist? The markup of the monopolist will be <clears throat> 10 minus 6, isn't it? So, which means that this marker will be 4 rupees. I am charging 4 rupees over my cost. Now, the last thing that I have for you that you want to go ahead and answer is that what happens when the monopolist starts acting as a perfect competition, then what is the price it will charge? You answer this, okay? So if the monopolist acts like a perfectly competitive market, then what is the price that it should be charging? Okay, thank you. Let's meet tomorrow again.